Hey, you know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Um, look, I'm I'm really getting tired of this. I I really am. Not with some of the subs, with a lot of the politics and boxing, a lot of these fake ass boxing channels, a lot of these fake ass so called boxing fans. You know, they don't never want to call shit down the middle. They always try to, you know what I'm saying, ignore certain subjects when it comes to a certain fighter of a certain skin complexion. You know, people love to tell me, oh, I need to stop making shit about race or I make things about race and all this type of shit. And they'll make videos saying my channel could be so much better if I wouldn't talk about race and all that type of shit. Well, I'm going to continue to talk about race and I'm going to continue to talk about the bullshit that go on in boxing. And this pisses me off a lot, too, because motherfuckers never want to call this shit down the middle. They never want to say what it is, though. They always try to uh convert back to talking about somebody else now in case you guys don't know manny pacquiao put out a poll saying who should he fight next you know what i'm saying now as you guys know last week errol spence had his victory his dominant one-sided you know what i'm saying uh royal ass whooping up Mikey Garcia, where he beat him from pillar to post, pretty much. And after he won the fight, he called out Manny Pacquiao and said he wanted to fight Manny Pacquiao. So then Manny Pacquiao said, oh, sure, why not? And Manny Pacquiao was talking all this shit about he know how to beat Errol Spence. He say he could beat him. He say Errol Spence don't hit hard to him. But look who not on Manny Pacquiao's poll. And it's and I'm going to tell you something else. I'm going to do a part two to this. You know what I'm saying? If it's two fighters Manny Pacquiao does not want no parts of, it is Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. He does not believe he could beat either one of those dudes. But look at the poll. He has Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, <laughs> Sean Porter on there, and of course, Floyd Mayweather. Okay. We all know why he wants the Floyd Mayweather rematch. Okay. He feel out of those, th th those three, with the exception of Floyd Mayweather, he believes he could beat those dudes. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. None of those fights will be a cakewalk for Manny Pacquiao at this stage. Okay. I, I've i said this from the gate. I don't think he'll fight Sean Porter. I know Sean Porter is on that list. More than likely, the fans won't vote for him to f fight Sean Porter. Sean Porter is a front. Okay? Sean Porter's fighting style isn't good for Manny Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? Where he might could have some success against Keith Thurman if he lands something significant on Keith Thurman, but I feel that Keith Thurman, if he hits Manny Pacquiao flush, I think the thing is with Keith Thurman, he will exchange with Manny Pacquiao in the middle of the ring. And I think if Keith Thurman lands something, he could put Manny Pacquiao's lights out. None of these dudes is a cakewalk for Manny Pacquiao. But the thing that bothers me, People will make videos giving him a pass. They, this is what they'll say. Oh, Manny Pacquiao has earned the right. He doesn't have to fight. He doesn't have to fight those guys. He's 40 years old. But yet, every time I look around, you got people saying that Floyd Mayweather should fight Canelo at 42. He should fight Errol Spence, which I don't know why the fuck uh, Fox Jason, Jason Whitlock's coon ass was asking Errol Spence about, you know what I'm saying, Floyd Mayweather. At this point, Floyd is currently a retired fighter. He's not fighting. Once again, Manny Pacquiao has a belt. Okay? He has a belt. So, that makes him an active fighter. 
See, people always try to change the narrative when it comes to Manny Pacquiao. And I, I, I don't like that shit. And they get mad at me when I point these things out. Because, see, that's the difference between me and a lot of these other motherfuckers, man. I'm not taking shots at nobody. But I'm I'm just calling this shit real versus real. I'm not giving Manny Pacquiao a pass because, like I said, he hasn't retired. They do this all the time. And it's just beyond Floyd. They do this all the time with black fighters. We could be retired. We could be undefeated. Me, we may only have one loss on our record, but they always say we didn't fight this dude. We didn't fight him. We ducked this dude. It's never enough. Oh, he should have went up. You have people calling for Floyd to go up and wait and fight Triple G, go to 160. Floyd has never fought at 160. Okay, he's never really fought at a full 154. So basically, you want him to go up. He fought, I think Floyd came in at 152 for Canelo. So you want Floyd to go up an additional eight pounds and fight Triple G. But then when we asked Triple G to go up eight pounds and fight Andre Ward as super middleweight, what was people doing? Oh, uh, oh, you just want to see you just want to see Triple G get beat. Oh, that's not fair. Um, tell Andre Ward to go fight Sergey Kovalov. See how you motherfuckers switch the narratives? I'm sick of this shit, man. And then this is the dude that y'all say fighter of the decade. And I told you, Manny Pacquiao been doing this, dancing around 147. Like I said, this dude ducked Andre Berto. Crawford went directly up to 147 and got a title shot against Jeff Horn and beat Jeff Horn. Manny Pacquiao could have got a title shot against Berto, didn't want to fight Berto at the time when he was undefeated. Then he fought Margarito, a dude that had got suspended. Then there was an issue about Manny Pacquiao's possibly being on some shit. You know what I'm saying? Then you look at his last fights. Lucas Matisse had one foot into retirement. Then you look at light punching Jesse Vargas. Light punching Tim Bradley. So let's not make it look like Manny Pacquiao was going against all these killers. You know what I'm saying? The Arrow Spences and the Crawfords and the Danny Garcias, even when Danny Garcia was undefeated. Manny Pacquiao didn't try to challenge Danny Garcia. He could have got a fight with Danny Garcia, but he didn't want it. But then again, with Danny Garcia, you never know neither. Because Danny Garcia is known for talking shit. But when he get offered a fight, he doesn't take the fight. I've been seeing this shit far too long with Manny Pacquiao, man. And this is why I get disgusted with boxing, man. I expect this out of the so-called boxing fans because, like I said, they will go out of their way to discredit a black fighter. But then they want you to give credit to the fighters that they like. And that's why I don't do the shit. Now, I'm sure somebody going to listen to this video and try to make some weak ass rebuttal or some kind of response or they going to say I'm. I'm, I'm a racist or all that shit. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I don't give a rat's ass. I'm calling this shit right down the middle. Why ain't Manny Pacquiao being called a coward? Okay. He, you know what I'm saying? Flat up, flat out said, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll fight you sort of. And that's why I said Manny Pacquiao sort of accepts Errol Spence's challenge. And then you got people get messy. Well, well, he did say he'll fight him. Well, his poll saying he ain't going to fight him. Why isn't Errol Spence on that poll? But I've been hearing this shit from Manny Pacquiao fans. They don't believe that Manny Pacquiao. There's two people that Manny Pacquiao fans don't believe that he could beat. For a fact, they don't believe he could beat Crawford. They don't believe he could beat Spence. I'm... When I say I'm sick of this double standard shit, like I, that that's why that's you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't be like talking to a lot of people. That's why I don't do debates and that's why I stick within my own circle of people that I affiliate with because they ain't going to tell the truth about this shit. And then you get these dudes like Max Kellerman always nut hugging Manny Pacquiao trying to say that he he a better fighter than Floyd. No, he ain't. 
And he, he tried to say Manny Pacquiao fought everybody. No, he didn't. Because I know somebody going to come on here and try to bring up somebody else. But it is a double standard, man. Non-black fighters don't never have the pressure to fight black so-called killers. You know what I'm saying? It's never pressure for the non-black fighters to fight the toughest black fighter out there. For real. So, the proof is in the pudding. Here you go. Anyway, this town bend is I'm out.